Hi, I'm Maria Langer, and this is my African Grey Parrot, Alex the Bird. I've put together this little video of Alex foraging for treats. I thought it might be interesting for folks who like birds or are considering buying one. It's also a video exercise for me, but that's another story. In the wild, parrots forage for food. That means that they use their claws and beaks to tear apart nuts and berries and pull bark off of trees looking for food. They don't have their food in ceramic cups like cage parrots do. Foraging is an instinct. It also keeps the birds pretty busy all day so they don't have time to be bored. Now Alex has never lived in the wild, but he still has foraging instincts and I like to keep him busy so he doesn't get bored and engage in self-destructive behavior like feather plucking. What you see here is a cage-like structure that I bought years ago when I first got Alex. It came with shreddable toys and blocks in it. Alex was only mildly interested in it, but when I replaced those toys with plain old shredded paper surrounding Alex's favorite treats, that's edamame or soybean pods, and unsalted cashews, he got very interested. So every few days I set him up with this hanging toy so he can forage for his favorite foods. As you watch this video, you might notice a few things. First, Alex knows the treats are in there, and he knows what he needs to do to get at them. Pull all the paper out. This loosens up the tightly packed cage so he can pull out the beans and nuts and eat them. You'll see him successfully remove a few beans and nuts in this video. I cut out a lot of them shredding activity. It took Alex about 40 minutes to work through the toy today, and no one is really interested in watching him for that long. Also, you'll see Alex use his feet to steady the swinging toy. Letting the toy swing from the top of the cage makes it tougher for him. Tougher is better. I've learned that the goal is to make the foraging task difficult enough that it takes him a long time, but not so tough that he gives up. You might also notice Alex glancing back at the camera. The camera was sitting on a tripod near his cage, and he didn't quite trust it. He keeps looking at it to make sure that it's not sneaking up on him to attack him. Fortunately, he's more interested in the treats than in the camera. Alex is almost eight years old. He's expected to live 40 or 50 years. Right now he's just finishing up his winter molt, so his feathers don't look as good as they would in a month or two. He molts every winter, and he looks pretty ratty for about two or three months. I hope you enjoyed this visit with Alex. You could stop by my website and eclecticmind.com to see more videos from my life.